Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Today I'm going to fold some socks while we talk because I keep forgetting to get them out of the dryer and I don't know how you fold socks but I can show you how I fold socks and I have a whole basket of socks. Look at the basket of socks. This is all socks. They're not just all mine. They're Jim's too. But we will dump them out and I will fold some socks. First I have to, whoops, those are, those are his, those I will not fold. <laughs> those are your underwear. <laughs> I won't fold them in, on camera. <laughs> I wonder why not. <laughs> I'm not going to. But anyways, yeah, I, I, first I sort them. I have different sizes. I have, and I like my toes to be flat. So I flatten them out. Sometimes they're not flat. I have, um, actually these are my socks. And this is my, I like men's socks. This is men's socks. Jim's socks are different. His are, his have, his, his have the little white stuff on them. I don't have those. Oh, I have it only on the toe. But he has it on the heel. But anyways, when you're folding socks. You have tube, don't yeah, you don't have tube socks. No, I do. I like tube socks. But um, when I fold socks, when we fold socks, we match them up. And because they're all black, it makes it really easy. And what I do, I'll just show you how I do it. I just fold them in half. And a lot of people maybe just leave them like this. Some people make a bad ball. I don't like a ball. I like it to go all the way through so that they're flat, perfectly flat. And when they're dirty, let me get a pair, I'll pretend. Um, let me fix my toe, this is my sock. Okay, and when they're dirty, because when you go to wash socks, you don't want to just find one sock when you take them out of the dryer. So what we do is we just fold the top. This means this pair has been worn because it's only folded at the top. And they would go into the laundry basket. But if they're clean, they get folded in half. And I push them all the way through because I like them to be flat. And they fit They fit so nice in the drawer. They either go this way in the drawer and a stack, 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 or you can lay them in and they go flat, 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 however. But that's how I like to do them. Well, today I was watching a bunch of videos and when I got done, I was watching a few of interest. And it's usually medical things that I always turn to. It's crazy, but I do like medical stuff. And, um, I was watching videos on psoriatic arthritis, which and, and on psoriasis also. And um, the reason I was looking that up is I have a tenant who actually was diagnosed with psoriatic arthritis. And I have suggested to him that he could try the ketogenic way of eating and it might help. Well, people are not willing to give up a lot of the grains be, you know, the grains or the, um, I wrote the down all the stuff, the, the beans, there, there's a lot of things they cannot eat and they're not willing to put these, th give these things up. And if they do, they do it for one day and think they're going to be healed. No, it's going to take at least a couple of weeks, usually four weeks, it usually takes for you, things to get out of your system. And even the medicine that they're putting them on is going to take two to four to three weeks, probably four weeks before he even sees an improvement. And the foods that they would have to avoid, I wrote it down because, so I could remember. But if you're a smoker or you chew tobacco, that's something you should get rid of completely because that's not good. And if you drink alcohol of any kind, even beer and wine, they're not allowed either. That's bad for you. Then you get rid of all your sugars which means not only the sugar you put, not only the tablespoon sugar, the agave, the um, anything honey, sweet, honey, yeah, honey, anything syrup, sweet, anything, anything sweet, and anything that turns to sugar is is bad for you, um, like your like your pastas and, pastas and your and your rice, and then you're supposed to get rid of all seed oils. You don't have any seed oils. You should just have like real fat, like bacon fat or um, coconut fat, um, beef, beef, beef fat, tallow. fat, tallow, yeah, um, 
what else is there yeah. butter and ghee those things are what you should be having and you're supposed to not have any grains that means no rice no wheat no oats. spelt no oats no no nothing no kiwi no quinoa, qui quinoa not kiwi kiwi, kiwi is a fruit I don't think you're supposed to have that either, but well, kiwi would be well, right, maybe because kiwis I don't know. are fats. No, avocados are fats. <laughs> oh, that's kiwis true. are uh, kiwis are green, and so are avocados. Are but you know, yeah. they're a little different. Okay, and right. dairy. You're supposed to get rid of dairy. <laughs> we're so messed up in our head. <laughs> we know what we're supposed to have, but not supposed to have. And when you see it, you know that's a no, no. Um, and then the nightshades, a lot of the nightshade things that people want are like um, the potatoes, the peppers, the eggplant, the tomatoes, things like that they can't have. So what's left? Really, not much. They could have um, lettuce. They could have meat. They'd have to go more carnivorous. Um, but a lot of people are just not willing to do that, but yet they will, they will turn to just to the medical field and hope that they can give them a medicine that's going to fix it. Well, even the medicines will take a while, and then the medicines are going to destroy another part of your body. And so they're not really going to fix it. They're no, just they're just covering it up. They're just, it's like, it's like when you have a headache and you take a Tylenol or an aspirin or, oh, I don't know, something for your head. It kills the pain, but does it get rid of whatever caused that headache? Not really, no. Oh, this is a hard sock to fold. These I don't like. Those are mine. Those are your tough socks. <laughs> I like the nice, soft feeling ones. Those are kind of a heavy sock. They're not as easy. But yeah. So I don't know what else. What else did I do? Um, I answered all of my comments, and I watched a lot of videos of the people that commented on it and I found a lot of new channels because of the the um, shout out thing that I did where you could toot your own horn that was, that was nice because I got to find a lot of channels that I typically would not have found and if you you um, watch um, Ruthie on what's Ruthie's I wrote it down where did I write it Hmm. Uh, I wrote it somewhere. Right there, somewhere I don't know. I wrote it. Oh, good heavens. That's even in one of my comments. This is bad. See, the names don't come back. I don't know. Oh, Ruthie, I'm so sorry. I don't know what it was. I'd have to find it, and it's going to be hard to find because they're, I don't know. I'd have to look in my comments. Let me look in my comments, and I can, it's, it's, uh, Popol, Popol. Family farm, maybe? I don't know. I think so. Um, that's, this is, it makes it, did you find oh, it? Man. Oh, something on that page, maybe? Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Let me see. No, no, that's just today's psoriatic arthritis stuff. That's not it. I think it was, I think it was Popol. Look on the P's. Give me the P, 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 P. Did you know there's a lot of names that start with the same letter? Popol, and it's probably on there. Here, give me. Yay, got it. Okay. Popol Backyard Farm is Ruthie. Now, Ruthie and Clay, she does a shout out um, where you can shout your channel out on hers, too. Oh, these names. You know, I, I keep a track. I have a track of everybody that I watch and every, anybody that's commented. And I was looking at different names that, um, what your name starts with. Like mine starts with an N. N is a good letter to start your name with. <laughs> but don't do it. Keep it away. E is a good one, too. And what, the reason I say that is when you look at the list of names that are are um, under that category, it's very, it's, there's not as many. The one that is really bad is the S and the T. If you start your name with the, you fall into the, you fall into that category where there's tons and tons and tons of names. And I, I don't know, I've got a page and a half, two sided, a, a whole page on both sides and then another half a page for the T's, L, M, N, O, P. P is good. Q 
queue is excellent. There's only two. <laughs> R is R is okay. S is S has got a page and a half. T T is T is a lot of names. Look at this. I've got this page. All T. Turn it to this page. All T. And I had to go under the under my. I had to move you because there's nobody with their name starting with you. So if you want your name and you, you could. Put your name in you. I don't y. know what. Huh? Starting with the Y. U, V. V has a couple. Has three. Three. V is a good one. W. X has one. Y has two. And Z has one. And then I've got one that's got, I don't know what kind of language it is, but it's in its own category. <laughs> but yeah. If and and I and I not only do I have um, your channel there because I like to know people's names. My book is going to break. I think it's getting kind of old. Mm -hmm. um, plastic breaks. But next to your names, I have our channel name. I have your name name. If I know it. If I don't know it, I don't have it. And there's a couple of them that I actually put a question mark by because I think that's your name, but I'm never really sure. So I, I um, hesitate sometimes to use it. Sometimes I might use it. I know there was one that I was calling. I kept mixing these people up. I kept calling one Linda and one Irene because they looked their, their picture looked the same and I, and it took me a long time to decide to know who was who. Well, in fact, Linda had mentioned, how come I call her Irene? Well, because she looks like Irene's little picture and that's what I was going by. I really wasn't looking at the channel name but now I look at the channel name and I get it correct now. I guess it's a lot of jabble and I didn't do many socks. I only got this many done. <laughs> I didn't get very many done. I guess I can't talk and to you and work too because I have to not pay attention to the camera. Instead I just I have to find the socks. I should have probably sorted them all out and then just fold and talk because I don't have to see what I'm doing when I'm just folding because I just fold. And they should be sorted. These, this is, oh dear, now they're got to be sorted. This one's yours and this one's yours. <laughs> and this one's yours. This is mine, 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 mine. And he's helping me. <laughs> Are you helping me? Oh, mm -hmm. he gave me a pair of his socks. I will fold them. So anyways, that's what I did today. Oh, and on the fire trucks went by. I don't know what was going on. Maybe, uh, we, and then there was two buses that were there in between the fire trucks and the ambulance, and their horns were blowing and blaring, and they were going down the street. So we were thinking maybe the last time that we had um, some, some of our kids go to state, they escorted them home. Well, maybe they're going on. I don't know. I haven't heard, so I don't know. I don't listen to sports, and I don't know what's going on in the school half the time. Have I'd have to daughter. talk to somebody that goes to the school, which would be my daughter, kids. They would know, but I don't know what it was all about. But all I know is the sirens went by, and there was it was like a parade. On the front, and then there, there was a lot of cars. This one's mine. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> oh dear, we're gonna right, have to sort either. these out. This is his. So no, nope, that's yours. No, that's got your that's got your toe thing. See, that's not yes, mine. Yes, <laughs> this is mine. The long ones are mine, and the real short, short, short are mine. Lots of socks. I guess I could go to work tomorrow, but I'm not going to work. <laughs> I used to say, if I don't have socks, I can't go to work. Well, I have socks. Lots of socks. And they're all black. I like black socks. Black looks dressy no matter what. You can wear them. The only time I don't wear black socks is if I have on um, shorter pants, which I hardly ever wear, or a little dress. This was mine, yes. 
forgot what you said. <laughs> so this video is probably going to go to the trash. I have a feeling. I don't know. Whatever. We'll see. I don't yes. know. It's It's been kind of not... Not a video that's interesting, unless you like watching me fold socks. This one's mine. Where's the other long one like this? Ooh, la rue. Did we hear this? I got it. I was going to say, did we mess up? We can't mess no. up. Let's no, go with that one. Yep, that's mine. Because with putting them together, there should never be anybody missing. No machine eats any of my socks because they're always there. Sometimes I forget to take one out of the machine, but they're always there. Okay, that's it. They're done. All done. Alrighty, and I guess I'm done here too. I didn't like my video. <laughs> now I'll try again. Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. I was trying to do a video standing up, folding socks. I don't do so well when I have to do two things. I, I actually was beginning to get confused as to whose sock I was folding and um, which pile it should go in. So then Jim started to help me. So we got them together and I've got my socks here. I've got all my socks in front of me. <laughs> and this is not doing well either. The videos today, is, it feels like I have nothing to tell you. Uh, there was nothing exciting happened. My daughter came by to collect her money. That's interesting, I guess. And my other renter came by to pay her money. <laughs> so, went out of the left hand and into the right hand, or out of the right hand and into the left hand. I don't know which way it went. This is going to go to the garbage, too. Everything's going to the garbage today. That one's garbage. Garbage, garbage, garbage. Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace. And this, oops, yeah it is on. Whew, I was going to say, this is take three. And then all of a sudden I thought, maybe I forgot to turn it on. Jim is sitting there very patiently. My dog, what, oh, what we are. Where are you from? Oh, no, it's where, where are where? you where? Oh, okay. Yeah. Whatever. Where? Go W. W and go around. Where? Or actually, where? This is we. We are here. <laughs> That's where we're from. We're right here. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. Hi, everyone. It's Nona Grace. And I am from Western New York, which is country very country. Um, some people think that when they think New York, they think city. I'm, I'm like hours away, eight hours, 10 hours. Mm. I'm eight hours from Albany. Mm, six hours from Albany. Six. I go to eight hours from eight. I'm a long ways from New, New York, York city. city. I've only seen North New York City once in my life and boy, it was stinky. Really stinky. I don't care to go back. Our country air has a lot much, a lot fresher smell. Well, anyways, this is take three of this. I tried folding socks, that didn't work. Then I tried to talk about folding socks and that didn't work. And I kept saying, well, I don't know what I'm gonna talk about today. And I always say to Jim, I said, Jim, what shall we talk about today? And he goes, he doesn't know. I typically can come up with something when I turn the camera on. Today I'm really having a battle with my brain. I can't think of a thing uh, to tell you. There was nothing that exciting that happened. It, it was gloomy. I will go to church tomorrow because I have to teach church school tomorrow. I didn't go tonight. Four o'clock came and went. Um, Emily came, which is a good thing I was home because she came to get her, she came to get her, um, money that I give her out of her paycheck and pay her rent that she pays um, to stay at the apartment. She could have free free rent if she'd moved back home, but you know, once they're, once they're out, they like to stay out. They don't want to come back home. And there's plenty of room if she decided to, 
but she would have to live by a little different rules, I guess, and she wants to be on her own. And then I looked at some pictures of my grandkids and their costumes and my daughter and her costumes. And then I thought, well, maybe I could do the video again. And Jim was looking very bored, very bored. <laughs> and my poor dog probably is saying, this is taking forever because he actually went into his little carrier so that he could sit quiet. Sometimes he sleeps in his little um, bed and doesn't realize I've even got the camera out. I think his hearing is going. I think I might have mentioned that before, but I do. I think his hearing is going. And so that is it for today. It's really not very long, not very exciting. Hope you had a better day than not. And um, I'll try and talk to you tomorrow about something a little more exciting. So I'll see you then. Bye-bye. That's going to have to do it. Thank <laughs> you.